Booba and the Magic Pipe. One rainy day, Booba decides to spend some time in a toy shop. He looks around at everything, but nothing interests him. Until suddenly he sees a display case filled with teddy bears. Ooh, <laughs> says Booba. He takes a closer look and notices helicopters, trains, pipes, robots, and even elephants on the shelf. Booba is excited. This is the best toy shop in the world. Behind the counter, we see Lula, who has made herself comfortable. She is reading a book. Booba gives Lula a friendly wave. <laughs> and she waves back before going back to her book. Booba decides he'll look around the shop himself. He doesn't need any help. The first thing he does is find a big globe and spin it round and round. <laughs> He's always wanted to find the highest mountain in the world, so moves in for a closer look. But immediately gets bumped on the nose by the very peak towering above the surface of the globe. <laughs> Booba rubs his nose and steps away from the globe. He walks over to a shelf with more toys. Ooh, he hasn't seen these before. He finds a cute gold-coloured cat with a red ribbon around its neck, blinking and waving at him. Next to it, there is a tiny robot that looks a little bit like a snowman. There is a rag doll, which Booba doesn't really like. <laughs> he decides to cover it up with a cute looking stuffed penguin. <laughs> Booba finds a shelf with lots of colourful helicopters. He picks up the yellow crimson model and flies it in the air, but doesn't see the green waste bin on the floor. He accidentally steps on the pedal as he takes a step back while playing with the helicopter. The lid of the bin lifts and then with a crash falls right behind Booba's back, which makes him jump. <coughs> he immediately forgets about the helicopter and jumps up to the green trickster. <coughs> Booba presses the pedal again, making the lid pop up. <coughs> Booba giggles when it flops down with a loud metallic sound. He thinks it's just another toy to play with. Booba comes up with a melody and begins to beat the rhythm with the pedal. <coughs> the rattle of the bin lid is heard all around the store. Booba is having fun. Lula looks up and stares at Booba. <gasps> she isn't happy with the noise that Booba is making. He smiles guiltily and hurries away from the bin. Lula goes back to reading her book. Booba, on the other hand, continues to study the shelves in the store. On the next one, he finds musical instruments, drums and pipes. Booba lights up. That's it! He grabs the pipe and blows into it as hard as he can. <coughs> it even makes Lula jump again. <coughs> she wags her finger at Booba. <laughs> He quickly puts the pipe back. Lula isn't a fan of musical instruments, but this doesn't bother Booba. He's already looking for something else to play with. He notices a bowl on a small table full of delicious fruit. Booba licks his lips. He suddenly feels very hungry. Booba takes the bowl and bites into the bananas. <laughs> However, the fruit isn't real, it's pretend fruit. Booba throws it back on the table. Both the table and the bowl tumble to the floor. Kaboom! <laughs> Startled, Lula jumps up and drops her book. She's had enough of the noise. Lula puts some headphones on and goes back to her book. Now she won't be disturbed. Meanwhile, Booba finds the familiar yellow lamp. As soon as he touches it, a pink cloud of smoke puffs from it. Genie Booba appears, wearing a large yellow turban. He waves happily to Booba and hovers above the floor. <laughs> Genie's stomach rumbles loudly. He must be hungry. He notices the fruit bowl on the table and excitedly flies up to it before Booba can warn him that the fruit isn't real. 
so Jeannie also tries to eat it. Ow! Uh, 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 uh. Confused, Jeannie snaps his fingers and the fruit turns into a real bowl full of fresh fruit. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Booba and Jeannie hungrily finish the bowl in a few seconds. Only the banana peel and apple stalks are left in it. Something has to be done with the rubbish. Jeannie thinks before spotting the little green bin. He has an idea. He clicks his fingers and turns it into a small green dog. It runs up to Booba hungrily. Booba feeds it with the apple stalks and banana peel. But the little dog wants more food. It jumps around begging for a treat. <laughs> so Booba throws her the bowl. The green dog crunches it happily and then flops on its side, satisfied. It wants Booba to stroke its tummy. Booba is very impressed by Genie's magic. His eyes light up. There are so many things he wants to ask Genie to do. First of all, Booba collects the pipe and asks Genie to bring it to life. Genie snaps his fingers. <laughs> the pipe suddenly has eyes and a mouth and it can fly. Booba tries to blow into it, but the pipe doesn't like it. Then Booba puts it down and runs to the chairs. These would be great horses, he thinks. Booba asks Genie to bring them to life and Genie happily snaps his fingers. <laughs> And a second later, Jeannie and Booba are galloping around the store on the chair horses. <laughs> Meanwhile, the magic pipe looks upset. Why have they forgotten about him? The pipe suddenly has a mind of its own and wakes up all the toys. They instantly fly up from the shelves and obediently follow the pipe. But Booba and Jeannie are too busy to notice. They imagine they are noble knights at the tournament. Genie grabs a ridiculous inflatable hammer and Booba grabs an umbrella. Booba and Genie pretend to battle, laughing and having fun. Suddenly Booba's umbrella opens and jumps up along with him. Like! Surprised, Genie falls off his chair, nearly dropping his huge turban. The friends are distracted from their game and are surprised to find that all the toys from the store are gone. Booba and Jeannie look at Lula. She is still listening to music on her headphones and flipping through her book. Lula hasn't seen what is going on. Booba and Jeannie look at each other. It's their chance to fix things. They've got time to quickly put all the toys back where they belong. But how will they do it? Jeannie thinks. Oh. He whistles. The green bin dog immediately runs up to him. Seek, Jeannie commands. The bin sniffs. It leads Booba and Jeannie to the exit of the store. The bin calls impatiently. It is eager to take up the chase. Booba and Jeannie jump on their chair dogs and gallop after the bin dog. The trail is double back. Apparently, the fugitives have often been distracted by entertainment. Finally, Booba and Genie catch up with the escaped toys. The pipe continues to play. To its magical music, the toys bathe in the fountain, fly around and frolic. Genie snaps his fingers. <laughs> Booba has got a lasso and Genie has got a net. They rush to catch the toys. The pipe spots them and raises the alarm. Dolls, robots, trains and balls run away. And yet, Booba manages to lasso the teddy bear. <laughs> and Jeannie catches one of the adorable blue penguins. The pipe doesn't give up. It sends other toys to free their friends. Two helicopters fly up into the air and carry away the captured teddy bear. They dump Booba into the fountain. Genie gets wet too. He and his horse are taken away by a toy truck. Genie drops his net and the penguin immediately escapes. The green dog bin guesses that they have to catch the main culprit, the pipe. It barks as it chases after it. 
Booba leaps and grabs the pipe, but it slips out of his hands. Booba thumps on the floor awkwardly. <coughs> Soon, Genie lands nearby. Oh. The truck has thrown him off his horse. The pipe begins to mock them. <coughs> Both Booba and Genie are very upset. The pipe feels very sorry. Deep down, it is kind. It never wanted to upset anyone at all. The pipe flies up to Booba and plays a gentle melody for him. Booba is happy and takes it in his hands. This time, it lets him play the melody of friendship. The toys line up in a row and return to their places in the store. The pipe is the last one to be put in its place by Booba. He strokes it goodbye before the magic is over. Then Booba and Genie clap their hands. They did it! <laughs> Genie snaps his fingers again and disappears. <laughs> At the same moment, the music in Lula's headphones stops playing. She takes them off, puts down the book, and looks around the store. Huh? It's very tidy. Lula approaches Booba, looking happy. He waits for her at the bowl full of real fruit. Lula is surprised, but says nothing. She takes a banana from the bowl and tucks in happily. Booba is relieved. Suddenly, the green bin runs up to Lula, wanting the banana peel, wagging his petal tail. <laughs> Booba has completely forgotten about the bin. Now, Lula is definitely going to suspect something. But she doesn't say anything. She really likes this dog. The bin lies down at Lula's feet, wanting some attention. Lula leans over and strokes its cute green tummy. 